What's up, everybody? It is Beers and Cameras, and today we're at the Cork and Craft here in Rancho Bernardo. My name is Chris Cochran. This is Alessandra. <coughs> so today we'll be chatting with Derek, who's the head brewer at Abnormal Beer Company. He's also the curator here at the Cork and Craft. We will also be chatting to the legendary John the Monster. We're gonna ask him what's he carrying and what's he drinking. Let's go. All right, everybody, we're here with Derek, uh, head brewer of Abnormal. He's also the curator here at The Cork and Craft here in Rancho Bernardo. Uh, say hi to Beers and Cameras real quick. Hi, Beers and Cameras. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, where are we located and what's what's all Abnormal all about? So Abnormal Beer Company is located in the Cork and Craft, which is also within the roof of Abnormal Wine Company. So it's San Diego's only brewery, winery, restaurant under one roof. Uh, we're an upscale uh, restaurant as well as an in-house brewery and in-house winery. We also offer guest wines, guest beer. So the overall experience with food, beer, and wine is what you can uh, we can have right here. And it's it's awesome. It's delicious. So what am I drinking? What are you drinking? I, I want to know what these beers right. are. So what? Uh, we'll start with this one. So this yep. one's a Bosphor IPA. It's our house IPA, uh, and it's uh, the dry hops are Nelson and Citra, just giving those awesome. big floral, tropical fruit. Yep citrus characteristics but you notice that it's pretty light for an IPA yeah, but I think very, that's what, very what very San quiet. Diego West Coast that's what we like we like the very low malt bill less caramel less toastiness and just a big burst and hot flavor and aroma and I think uh, that's what I kind of model my IPAs after um, contrary to that would be what you're drinking uh, and this is a double IPA but this is a one of the collaborations that I've done um, it's a collaborative beer with L the Los Abbey Awesome. It's actually a West Coast double IPA, which is, it's not Belgian inspired, it's, it's San Diego inspired. Yeah, no, it's it's kind of odd for Lost Abbey. What they wanted to do was, um, you know, let them pick out the hops, which is totally fine. It's a yep. nice balance of hops with a Centennial Idaho 7, Citroen Mosaic. But what we oh, did yeah. with this one was we added a little bit of a, a touch of caramel to kind of um, balance out the bitterness. Even it out, kill it yeah. out. Yeah, so you didn't want it to be too boozy. You want to add back that slight sweetness, and yeah. that's what we did with that one. And what's the alcohol percentage on this one? What's the uh, That one is 9%, and this one's wow. 7%. Wow. Um, but hopefully it doesn't drink like that. That's you can whole, drink this all day, dr drink like, a, drink, literally. Like. Drinkability, flavor <laughs> focused. Also, all the beers are gluten reduced. Okay. Uh, we do use the Enzyme uh, Clarity Firm so that all, every single one of the beers is less than 20 parts per million awesome. uh, of gluten. Uh, why should everybody come to Rancho Bernardo? I know it's a little bit of a drive for people down south. It's not too far. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's too, not far. too far. It's, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah. that that's, might be the main reason why. But so why should everybody come to uh, the Cork and Craft? San Diego is only brewery, winery, and restaurant under one roof. We always have something interesting going on, a lot of events. Uh, we even have a private dining room for you to rent out. So uh, it's four different suites that we just turned into a culinary experience. Um, you really have to make the trek because a lot of people do and they are not disappointed. Yeah. And if they come down here and they drink too much, can they stay at your house? Uh, <laughs> I live in North Park, so no. We got plenty of hotels around here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. All right, Derek, head brewer of Abnormal Beer Company. Thank you for having us inside your brewery. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, beers and cameras. Cheers, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Here we go. We are actually here right now. Go ahead and introduce yourself. John, John the Monster. Yeah. How about that? Tell them that's the Instagram handle, right? Is John the yeah, Monster? Yeah, at John the Monster. Yeah, that's 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 where you'll find all my photos, images, whatever, awesome. anything. I'll San Diego. You have a website too? I do. JohnTheMonster.com. Two R's. Two R's on John the Monster. Yep. So just remember, he's John the Monster. <laughs> Awesome. So uh, the big thing that we do is what are you carrying and what are you drinking? So you're already drinking. So the first thing, what are you drinking? Faction Nitro. Awesome. Love it. So I mean, Nitro is a little iffy to me, though. Do you like Nitro? Do you not like Nitro? It's got to be the stout. I okay. mean, no matter what, when it comes down to Nitro, stout is the way to go. Um, I'm not crazy in a beer, but honestly, Nitro is the best for any kind of stout. I love it. 
I love this. I'm on my fourth one, so I can't complain. Dude. Awesome. Never can complain. complain on fourth beer of the yeah, night. Yeah, dude, for right? sure. Man. All right, so uh, what are you carrying? What are you carrying, carrying. right here? Yeah. Um, this is uh, A7R2, my baby, pride and joy. Yeah. Um, got the Voigtlander 40 on there. You, you have to go old school with it, right? I have to. Yeah. I have to. Low light. <laughs> Um, I mean, low light. This guy's a 1.4. What's the aperture on it? 1.4. 1.4. I mean, you can what, you can punch this ISO all the way up to 25.6. Oh, yeah. No issue. That's the Sony so, light, right? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Has, hashtag, hashtag, so, Sony life. hashtag Sony light. Hashtag Sony light. Hashtag. No, but honestly, um, yeah, I love it. I got the Artisan Obscura soft release matching hot shoe. Yeah, I can see that. It's it's my baby, dude. Yeah. It's my baby. I love it. What was your main thing to get into photography? Um, I remember when um, one of the biggest things was actually my, my grandma passed away. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, man. No, that was a long time ago. Thank yep. you, though, brother. Thank you. My grandma passed away, and I was thinking, I just want to capture moments, dude, and just like... That's huge. Just keep it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I remember, I mean, growing up, I mean, with film all around, people always ask, yeah, I mean, always taking pictures and stuff like that going to the store, developing the film, and putting it in photo albums yeah. and stuff. There was reasons behind it. It's not just because, you know yeah. what I mean? And, and uh, So I remember my grandma passed away. I picked up a camera, just a little point-and-shoot camera, a little Canon whatever. I still have it. I love that thing. Yeah. Uh, then uh, then from there, it just got crazy. I just started using it for everything. Very awesome to have you here. We are so happy to have you back here. Dude, Cheers, thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Cheers. John the Monster on Instagram. Yeah, thanks, guys.